Real Talk with Mo. Glad you clicked the video. Like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. WWE.CB Lifestyle and Apparel is the wear. I'm telling you, one of the most comfortable hoodies you probably will ever buy. Guaranteed. Uh, thanks for checking me out. Uh, I had got on this morning. I was going to talk about something else. But then I saw a video um, this morning, last night. <laughs> That I have to talk about real quick. Um, the, uh, the the Oscars or the Grammy. I don't know. I don't watch any of that shit. But the Oscar, I think it was. Um, I don't know who watches it, to be honest with you. I think we would just see the highlights. I don't even see. I'm pretty sure they're going to have like the worst ratings ever. Because nobody watches shit like that. Just for a bunch of, you know, elite, you know, millionaires that go up there and strut their stuff. And congratulate each other and you got this award and you got this award and blah 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 you know I guess it's just you know I ain't gonna lie I'm not trying to be uh, you know an ass or anything but I think it's just it's kind of whack nobody cares about that shit um, so anyway so what happened was I guess I don't even know the whole background about it, about it, but I'm pretty sure, you know, being a comedian, Chris Rock at one point made fun about, I guess, Jada, or I don't even know if it was during the show, because all I saw was the video of what happened, um, the actions that happened, so I don't know if he made fun of her during the show, or he made fun of the situation or whatever, um, but I don't know what happened at that point, but, you know, Will Smith gets up on stage, and smacks the hell out of Chris Rock. And there's just so many things that I have an issue with when it comes to when it, for that. Um, so many different things. First of all, like, you're a grown-ass man. Right? This is, again, why I say about controlling your emotions. Right? As I get older, my emotions are more under control, not less. Right? Like, I, I, don't, I don't lash out like I used to. And, I, and back in the days, I would lash out. Somebody could just say something to my girl, right? Say something, to, and, and anybody can vouch and say, they could just be like, damn, girl, you fine, or damn, uh, and I would snap. Be like, what's up then, man? Come talk to her, let me see. Right, I bring out, you know what I mean? I would snap. And anybody could tell you that, and that's how I had a short temper. Like, I just snap for no reason, for just you talking, you looking, you staring, what you looking at, man? Like, you staring at me like, whatever. That's how I was. So, um, so yeah, I, I was short. But as I get older, man, and I start to mature, and I start to look at things differently, and I start to see maybe it's not me. Like, I remember Jay-Z post has a video going around, or a little thing where he's like, I guess after going to therapy, I don't know the whole situation, but he starts to talk like that. Like, where he's like, like somebody would ask him, like, why are you staring at me, man? And they're like, you think I'm looking at you? think I'm staring at you oh and he starts to like it gets deep because he starts to say like yeah you think you hurting right because you, you know what I mean and that's how it was for me why are you looking at me bro is something wrong like you know what I mean so anyways that's just getting off base but I, you know what I mean I, as I got older I control my emotions better now than I did then and I know when not to react and what's what's good what's what should I react to Right? Especially with physical violence, I don't want to react with physical anything unless it's defend myself or defend my family or friends or whatever. So, anyways, especially talking. When people are talking, talking doesn't hurt me. That's not, speech doesn't hurt me, right? I tell my son, sticks and stones, break your bones, words will never hurt you type of thing. So, I don't ever worry about that. Nobody's going to talk me into fighting them, right? You got to actually, you got to actually be able to physically touch me or hurt somebody in my family to be able to, for me to get there. And as I get older, I understand that more and more. Um, so anyway, so he goes up and slaps the shit out of Chris Rock. Like, slaps the... I don't know. It was, it was a good slap. But he know, but again, it's, that's, that you know, that him controlling his emotions. Like, everybody been talking about this entanglement, this Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith shit. You know, clowning him. He's got memes where he's crying. He's got a bunch of shit going on. Like, this ain't... The only thing to me is, like, why, why now? Why you doing it right now? Like, why and then why you go up on stage? Why you ain't catch him out backstage? Talk to him like a man, and then if you want to slap him or whatever, do that then. Why you want to go up on stage? I don't, that's why, you know, that's why people are probably pushing around that it's a uh, it's set up or something like that, maybe to get fans or whatever. You know what I mean? It could have been a bunch of things, but it's like, why you doing that now? First of all, 
because I don't know, even if he did say something, I don't know what the was said before or I don't know what part of the show this is in. So don't, don't, like, I don't know. It could have been, he could have just said, said something about the thing. But the problem is, people been talking about that shit the whole time it's been going on. People got, like, songs involved in it. People use the word. Like, the word is a thing. And when you say entanglement, you think about Jada Pinkett and, uh, what was it, Trey Song? Not Trey Song. Jada Pinkett. Was it Trey Song? Whoever she was cheating with. Um, and it's like, you think about it. So it's like, uh, what was it, Trey Song? I think it was another dude. Uh, oh, oh, August. 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 Uh, uh, Alcina, whatever, whatever his name is, that was who it was. So you think about that when you say entanglement, right? You, you think about it. It's like this thing been going on for like years. I want to say, feels like it. So like, bro, why are you getting all upset now that you want to physically go and attack the man? Like, that's that's dumb to me. Like that's what I'm saying about as far as like controlling your emotions and you know not letting them control you. Cause that's, that's what he did, man. He let his emotions take overtake him, so he went out there and, and smacked the man. Um, you know, it probably made for a good show. Got something to talk about the next day. We talking about it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a hundred YouTubers and um, videos and you know everything talking about the view. Everybody gonna talk about it. But I think it was just you know overreacting. Like I said, with men, especially with their emotions, you gotta learn to control them. Um, and also, you know what I mean? Like like I said, you could have confronted a man later backstage, right? If you really had like a beef with it, you know what I mean? And you could have you could have laid it down then. You know what I mean? That's what if that's what it was really bothering you, you could have took care of it then. But everybody's making a fun of it, so that's why I understand why he took it out on Chris Rock. But it had to be something maybe that he said, even but even though, like I said, I don't care what he said. You could have confronted him man to man in a, another place, right? Pretty sure you guys know each other, no agents that know each other, no people that know each other. You probably could even met up somewhere and confronted them and told them, like, listen, man, you got to chill out with that. You know what I mean? I'm just, it's real bothering me. I don't like it. You could have did anything, but no, nah, you want to go up there and slap them. They're going to sit down and then say, and then I seen his mouth move. He's like, keep keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth and all that. And it's like, come on, bro. You're just looking angry. You're looking like upset. You're looking emotional. That shit's whack, bro. So it is what it is, man. He gonna do what he gonna do, yeah, man. It is what it is. I don't, I don't, I don't condone it, right? I'm not even. A, I don't even think it's cool. I don't even think it was. It was thought out. It was something that was supposed to be. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think it was something that he needed to go do, right? Because everybody's talking about it. People talking about it now. There's videos, YouTubers, there's people, comedians, entanglement, and all that shit. That shit been going around the internet for like I want to say I want to say a couple years, maybe. And then you putting it out in public, that makes it worse. You putting it out in public, you doing shows with it. She's telling the business. Like, come on, man. It's public business. It's it's comedy too. They're gonna make fun of it. I don't know if he did then. Or I don't know what that situation was. But either way, like you go up there and slap the man. I think it's bullshit. And like he know, but he know he's slapping. But like, he know Chris Rock wasn't gonna gonna react. You know what I mean? Not the way some regular people would react, or some real ones would react. Cause you you ain't gonna slap me. There ain't no way in hell you was gonna walk up and slap me and then walk away. Nah, you wouldn't have made it off the stage, bro. So I know he, I know he already knew Chris Rock was not going to react. I knew for sure. So you know, I just wanted to touch on that, man. I know it's gonna be the big topic today. Um, I think it was silly. Like I said, I always try to see stuff and try to see what what inside of it I could learn from it or what I could push out. To help people learn from it But it's control your emotions man People can't Don't let people hurt you with words Speech is not Assault Right People can say whatever they want to say And it is what it is Right Just keep on moving Keep moving forward you Just ignore it You ignore the noise And keep moving Alright So catch me on the next one Real Talk with Mostly be Lifestyle and Apparel Doing more podcasts Check us out